this is Ansari Faisal. This is my project that I have made. This is a dynamic responsive MVC based e-commerce website named eCart for users and admin where user can buy product from the website and admin can manage the website. I have integrated various technologies in this project. I used Java as a server side scripting language, H2 database as a database. I used Bootstrap for CSS framework, jQuery to enhance the user interface, jQuery validation for the validation purpose, AngularJS, Spring Webflow and Spring Security for the security purpose. In this project there are two roles, user and admin. So let me show you the demonstration of our project. I will show first from a guest perspective or we can say anonymous user's perspective. An anonymous user can view the categories the products available in the category and the anonymous user can search for a particular product by typing the name of that particular product in this field and by clicking on this search button then the products according to the keywords provided will be displayed here the user can now filter or sort the data according to its need like price low to high price high to low by name or by newest first user can also filter the products among these displayed product by typing the name of that particular product like this this filtration is done on runtime user can also view products belongs to a particular category by clicking on this view all button or by going by hovering on this categories by hovering on this category this panel will be displayed and the user can navigate through the category from this panel like if you want if the user wants to see the categ mobile category then he can click on the mobile and the products that are available in the mobile category will be displayed here if the user wants to see the detail of a particular pro product then he can click on that particular product then the, dis then the detail of that particular product will be displayed if the user wants to add the product into cart or wish list then he will be redirect to the login page since it is since he is the anonymous user if the user if the user is an ex existing user then he can provide his credential or he can register on the website by clicking on this register button or by clicking on this sign up button and then he has to provide the following detail by clicking on this sign up we will be redirect to the confirmation page if the u if the user is already exist then it will sh show you an error like user already exist please log in then by clicking on sign up we will be redirect to the confirmation page if the user spot some mistakes in details that he has provided then he can click on this edit button and he will be redirected to the previous page and then he can change the detail then those details will be updated and by clicking on this confirm the registration is confirmed uh, the, the registration is successful thank you for joining with us please log in then we can log in by clicking on this link the product is successfully added into the card since we were trying to add the product into car into the card so that it is already added into the cart you 
you can observe the changes like the cart is now available for the user here you can see the name that you have that the user have provided at the time of the registration and by clicking on this we user can see the user panel and by clicking on account he will be redirected to the personal information page if the user wants to change his personal information then you can change here like i want to change it and save then this detail will be saved into the database and the user will be pro alerted and then you can see that the name is changed here similarly he can change the password he can add the address and user can update the mobile number so let's add some address if the user wants then he can add multiple addresses and he can also see the wish list and orders now if the user wants to buy some product then he can click on this add to cart option then the product is added into the cart if i am if i try to if the user try to add the product that is already available in the cart then it will not add that particular product instead it will increase its quantity like you can see here the quantity the quantity becomes 2 and the product the total is updated and the grand total is updated automatically if the user wants to increase the quantity of a particular product then he can click on this field and then provide the quantity and then click on save then the total uh, the net sub total and the grand total is automatically updated if user change his mind that he don't want to buy the product then he can move the product into the wish list and he can buy it later and user can also move the product from wish list to cart and if the user wants to place order then he can click on this place order he can now select the address if the user wants to add some address he can add the address from here also the address is added successfully and the user needs to choose the address on which he wants to deliver the deliver his address like i chose this and deliver here then this address will be displayed here and the receiver name and its mobile number and the order summary so if i want to change if the user wants to change the address then he can click on change address and then he can select the different address like i am selecting this and the address will changed accordingly and then user can click on proceed to pay and the user has to select the cash or delivery the payment mode cash on delivery or debit card so i am choosing here cash on delivery and proceed then the order is placed placed successfully if the user wants to see the order detail then he can click on view detail and he can see the order detail the quantity and everything and the cart is also becoming became zero now the admin module let me log in by the administrator id so the 
this is the administrator id so you can observe the changes here there is no cart available for the admin and uh, user can uh, th this is, there is a panel similar to the user like admin can add product and add the category and here at the user at the user's perspective here wish list and add to cart option was available but now here is edit and delete option available so if the admin wants to edit or update some product he can click a uh, particular product he can click on the button and then he will be redirected to the update page and then he can update the product like its quantity its price you know, category image and the description or user can, or admin can delete the product by clicking on this delete button so let's add some category let's add the new category yeah. i am adding a category of laptops this successfully and you can see the category here we can here we can also filter between the categories like similar to the product filtration phones like I want to update the category the uh, like I want to update this category so I can click on this I can and I can I can update the category. One second. Category uh, it alerted and headphones. The category is updated successfully. And we can see the category is added here at the bottom and here. Let's add some product into that category. twice because there is a constraint that I cannot write description less than 20 characters it should contain at least 20 characters so I am clicking on save and the success product added successfully and we can see that the product is added here and we can see the product detail test the name of the title the title of the product and the price and its description and the admin can edit or delete the product user and anonymous user or also admin has access to all products page this page contains all the products that are available in the website and we can filter between these products by typing the name of the product name of the product or if we can also filter the product we can also see the added product here can also filter between those. these address these product and I have implemented Google API so 
so we can see here is the address I, I actually implemented it for the contact us purpose so we can zoom it and see it we can also switch to satellite view and map view in future i will add some new uh, in future i will add some new feature in this in this project like review like or uh, like uh, review liking of review helpful review product rating okay, that's it from my side now